Lego, why didn't you stream for the NHL awards ceremony this year? Well, the reason for that is because I just kind of simply don't care. There's only one award I care about, and it's the one that we're talking about in this video. The time at recording this audio is 4-14-13, 14, 15, 16. We have a commercial break. I'm looking at the Egg McMuffin from McDonald's and their McCafe two for five dollar sandwiches promo. This is the commercial break before the Calder. And you're going to see in a few minutes here, I guess, my reaction to the inevitable winner. But this is the award that I feel like Moritz Sider absolutely has in the bag for the Detroit Red Wings. After this award is done, I might just turn off the program. I don't really care about all the other awards, but... I gotta go out there and represent my boys, man. Mo Sider going up against Trevor Zegras and Michael Bunting of the Anaheim Ducks and the Toronto Maple Leafs, respectively. Trevor Zegras, of course, scored multiple Michigan goals this season. He had the brilliant blindfolded dodgeball showcase where he twisted and twirled and lacrossed the net in the front side in the NHL All-Skills Competition, or All-Star Skills Competition, that's what it was. And we have Michael Bunting, a guy so old he rivals Zdeno Ochara. I'm just joking, but you know what I mean. It's been kind of a meme the past few months talking about how old Michael Bunting is and how so closely eligible he has been for the Calder. Had he been born just a few days later, he would not have been eligible this year. Had he played just a few more games in previous seasons in the NHL, he would not have been eligible this year. Michael Bunting is only here by the hairs of his chinny-chin-chin, but you cannot deny the fact that he did go out there and he was the top rookie scorer. 63 points in 79 games played, playing with Matthews and Marner. He was the Hyman replacement, arguably better than Zach Hyman was. Okay, I'm going to go back to the awards show because they actually do have the announcements back. They stopped up the commercials and now they're showing off who is going to win. I'll get back to you in a little bit here. Oh, actually, no, it looks like they're doing a bit about the artist. So let's talk a little bit about Zegras and Sider as well. Trevor Zegras scored several Michigan goals. He had some very good highlights. He had 61 points in 75 games this season as a member of the Anaheim Ducks. Definitely made himself known as one of the hottest young players in the entire league when it comes to offensive potential. This guy could arguably carry the next generation's worth of creative moves, fancy dangles, fancy deeks, and crazy goals. He had the Michigan assist to Sonny Milano against Buffalo. He's just so creative with the way he plays the game. It's something that all the other NTDP guys, Jack Hughes and Caulfield and Cam York, all said about this guy when he was eligible to be drafted in 2019. Even though Jack Hughes was the better player on that NTDP squad, Trevor Zegras was arguably the most flashy. And then you have Sider, a guy who came in here like a giant amongst boys, playing against the best competition he's ever played against, and he had 50 points in 82 games, while also being such a rock defensively, he had multiple big hits, he was a shutdown beast in his own zone too, Mo Sider was so valuable that I feel like everybody kind of thinks that he's going to win it, so if he doesn't, then okay, we're gonna see what happens then. But it looks like they have themselves the actual Calder Award now being broadcasted on the screen. Is that what they're doing? Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's listen to the Calder Award nominations here. Oh, that's so cool. They've got Jake and Elliot Friedman doing the thing here. That's amazing. Great to see him at the event, eh? Okay, they're doing the nominees. Bunting, Zegris, and Cider. Cider. 50 points as a rookie led all D-men. Bunting led all points in general for the rookies. Trevor Zegris. What are they going to show for his thing? Okay, they're going to show 61 points, second amongst rookies, and then they're going to show the flashy highlights as to everything he did. 19 multi-point games. That is wild for Trevor Zegris, isn't it? But here is the award being announced. Let's unmute the TV and hear what they have to say. All their goes to... Let's go, baby! Mo Cider! Let's go! I'm sorry that we only did this in an audio format, but I really just don't care enough to do the video. But Mo Cider has won the Calder. There you go. Let's mute the TV once again and talk about how this guy did it. He did it! Lucas Raymond snubbed. I guess you could probably say that. I mean, maybe. He was really good, but the other guys definitely had seasons that I think were also good enough to consider for this award. 
Mo Sider is going to do the speech, so I'll join you in a little bit here. Yes, let's do that. All right, that is great. Even though Moritz Sider's parents were not there, he still was the winner, and he still had a pretty good speech, even though he did not prepare it. Now, I will say, just to give a final word on how everything had gone down with Bunting and Zegris in the mix here, we gotta clarify this one more time. For all the people that were going out there and saying that somebody should be eligible for a nomination or somebody shouldn't be, Michael Bunting fits under the rules. So technically, he was eligible. And when it comes to the way the Calder is awarded, it's not given to the guy who has the best ceiling in the future. It's given to the guy who, under a very specific set of eligibility rules, has the best season. Under 27 years old, under a certain amount of games played in pro hockey leagues and the NHL in the past, Bunting, Zegras, Raymond, Tanner Janot, Sider, they were all eligible. And just seeing which one had the best season amongst this group is how the trophy was awarded. Even though Michael Bunting, a lot older than Trevor Zegras, a lot older than Raymond, a lot older than all these guys, the fact is they are all in the same boat. You have to think of them as equals, and Bunting season was the top point-producing season out of all the rookies. Now, I get it, he was playing with Matthew, so it makes things a lot easier on his behalf, but the pure points, the pure games played and all that stuff, it was good enough for him to be considered here. So, at the end of the day, Sider wins. It's not Michael Bunting, and it's not... Trevor Zegris, unfortunately. I do think that Zegris probably had a chance, but I'm not sure if he would have been able to beat Bunting on the voting list. We actually don't have that available to us at the moment, but we'll see it when it does come out. But talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about Moritz Sider winning the Calder Trophy. I hope you enjoyed this British Rage Rolls 99. And bye.